Okay, uh, this is uh, just a little bit of a video to show you how you can set up um, adjusting your down elevator or, uh, or up elevator maybe um, when you put flaps down um, on a model and you're trying to get the right percentage of down elevator to allow for the flaps. So this is on a spectrum radio but I dare say you can do this on any other radio. But this is what I do um, on my uh, spectrum radio. So my flap switch I always use switch D, this one here, this three position switch. So where it is up there fully up is uh, no flaps at all. Take off flaps. That middle position as it says is take off flaps and then it landing goes flaps. to landing flaps. So flaps up. anybody familiar with spectrum will know that if you go into the flap system um, you can then um, program a certain amount uh, of down elevator so position one which is takeoff flaps it's got 10% which is down elevator and then position two it's got 20% and as you can see it's on switch D and the problem is you have to sort of guess at what percentage you need of down elevator and if it's too much or not enough, you then have to land, alter it, um, try it again. But the, what I do is uh, it allows me to trim the down elevator in flight um, without affecting your normal flight. So if I just go back to uh, the normal main screen, just exit out of there. Okay, so I don't know whether on mode one, so what you're looking for is the elevator is on this slider here on the left hand side. So you can see with um, no flaps at all, the trim for the elevator is actually zero as it happens. But when I put takeoff flaps, you will notice Take off flaps. that goes to plus 20. That's got nothing to do with the percentage I've dialed in in the flap system that is I've adjusted it to plus 20 on top of what the setting I've put in for the down elevator and when I go to full flaps you will notice landing flaps that goes to um, plus six um, sorry I think the light went off there um, so what this allows me to do I can adjust on the trim switch the normal trim switch here on the left hand side so I can change that to plus seven or plus sorry or plus say plus eight for instance but when I go to take off, take flaps. off flaps it's still plus 20 as it was before flaps up no flaps is zero so take off flaps they're Landing all working flaps. independent so I can put that to plus six when I go back, take off, flaps. take off flaps, it's still back to plus 20. Flaps up. So what this allows you to do is use that trim switch to trim it for normal flight, trim it again for take off flaps, and trim it again for landing flaps. So you can put in a percentage for take off and landing flaps of down elevator, and then you can trim it out on there for each different flap setting, and it doesn't... Uh, alter your, flat, uh, your down elevator or up elevator trim on your normal flight. And the way to do that on a Spectrum um, is to uh, go down uh, out of the um, uh, system into system setup. Asks you are you sure? Yes. Um, and what you want to do is use flight modes so that F mode setup is for flight mode. So if you click on that, and normally this would be inhibited. So what I've done is assigned switch D, which is the same switch that I use for my flaps. So assign the same switch that you use whatever flap switch to switch D for your flight modes. So that will alter flight modes. If I now back out of there and then go down to trim setup, and in trim setup, when you by default all of these will be 
sat for throttle aileron elevator all common but you can see there that the elevator is selected to flight mode I can change that back to common by clicking on it or back to what you want to do is change elevator from common to flight mode and then that everything is then done so basically now when I go back to the um, normal screen then the trims are independent uh, on each flight mode so whatever whichever you can see now that it's got flight mode one there when I put it to take off flaps, take off flaps. It goes to flight mode two landing flaps it goes to flight mode three so the trim is independent for each different flight mode so it allows you to trim it independently so a little bit of a tip there there is another way you can do it with mixes but that's the way I do it and it allows you to use the trim uh, the other thing that you might want to do is if you use the voices as I do uh, when you activate flight modes it will also tell you not only the flap setting but the flight mode you're on which is a bit of a pain take off flaps flaps so up. I get rid of the voice on the flight modes and the only way I've found of getting rid of that is by going into system setup again scrolling all the way down to system settings uh, and I go into the next screen go down to volume controls select that and you will notice that under flight mode the volume I've turned it down to zero so although that it's still saying it because it's set to zero it does nothing um, so a little bit of a tip there uh, of how to do it certainly with spectrum um, but uh, if you've got Futaba, I'm sure you can do the same. Uh, but it's just working out uh, how to do it. So just a little bit of a tip there for setting up uh, your trims for your elevator on uh, on different flap settings. Thanks, guys. Bye.